a metamorphosis, such a change that's coming over all my friends and my neighbors. You know what everybody's doing? They're painting pictures. They're, they're expressing themselves. I don't know. I always express myself without a paintbrush. And if there's something the matter with me, I express myself to my drugstore man, and I say, Ributol, please. Listen, it may help you like it helps me. One ributol gel you cap is worth a thousand words. So if you are feeling, I mean, tired, not resting by a good night's sleep, I if you don't have that bubbling feeling of energy like you used to have, you know, it could be because you're not getting the important elements in ributol. Try it. I mean it. You don't know what a wonderful difference ributol can make, how wonderful you can feel, I mean, just in a week, or at so, 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 maybe in a day even. And the reason is simple. It's simple like simple Simon. It's because ributol contains 22 vital elements, vitamins and minerals that everybody, yes, Everybody needs to make them feel good. So if everybody needs these things, don't you need them? No, of course. This bottle of 25 ributol gel decaf is only a dollar ninety-eight. Only a few cents a day. No, is that a bargain? So ask yourself: Is that the best bargain you can get? And you can answer yourself: Absolutely. It's a wonderful color sense, yeah. don't you think, Rosie? Yeah, yeah I like the blue. Since when is Dora's mother such a painter? You're going to have a very artistic mother-in-law, Sam. She certainly is talented. Quite an accomplishment for a woman. Mm. If you stand back, Ma, you get a better perspective of the picture. I mm. stood back, and I stood forward already. I don't know. To me, it looks only like lines. Well, there's lines and lines. Well, that's cubistic art. Mm. Oh, cubistic. Abstractions and cubistic. Don't you I get don't anything know. from it now, Ma? Tell me what I'm supposed to get, and then I'll now get it. An emotional response, Ma. What did you get, Drake, huh? You got something. I did. Me too, I think. What's the name of the picture? She calls it the Bronx. That looks like the Bronx to you, Drake. Art is not photography, Molly. I thought when you look at a picture, you're supposed to know what you see. You should feel something, Ma. Listen, I'm trying very hard. You see, if you took art appreciation, they Molly... They have art classes in United States. Oh, oh, yeah, and if yes? And if yes, it wouldn't be any harm. All right, Rosalie, please, set the table already and put away the pictures already. We're going to eat supper. And, and what were you saying, Jane? If they have art classes in your night school, Molly, I would... Where do you want me to hang it, Ma? Would... It would look very nice in the living room. I don't have an abstract living room, please. Right here, Samuel. Uh, leave my Washington where he is, please. Just over here. And let Lincoln hang where he's hanging, please. I'm living with Lincoln already. Uh, there are ten years. Let him be already. So academic, Ma. Academic, please. If George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were abstractions, I can imagine where America would be today. Where do you want me to hang it? Listen, it was a present to you from Dora's mother, darling, so put it in your room. Well, I'll find your place to hang it, Sammy. Yeah. You think Dora's mother would let me have one of her pictures? Where's the seltzer, Molly? Thank you. Oh, thank you. You saw the Bronx in that picture? I must say, Molly, something came over me when I looked at the picture. Yeah, what came over you? Well, uh, I got a feeling. I got an emotion. And you, Jay? I can't answer that question like an art student or a professor, if that's what you want. But I'm sure Dora's mother can enlighten you. I don't know. I don't know. Everything is a picture these days. To me, a child in the kindergarten. Molly, if you don't understand a thing, don't criticize it. Listen, I'm asking a question, Jerry. And, and you understand it? And not as much as I should. But if I had time and if I had leisure, I would make it my business to understand. That's why I have so much admiration for Dora's mother. Mm -hmm. She absorbs herself in cultural things. Oh, and what you're saying is that I don't absorb myself. You do you? Well, when you have a family, and you have a family to cook for, that's plenty absorbent. <laughs> and what will you do when the time comes and your family don't need you to absorb yourself? When that time comes, then I'll ponder the question. Rosalie, Sammy, come, put away the picture ready, sit on the table. Uh, I'll still have you to cook for, Jake, or maybe you don't like mine cooking. <laughs> You're cooking, Molly. That I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. So where did you hang the Bronx? Over my bed. <sighs> Tell me, Sammy, yeah. Uh, how long is Dora's mother uh, studying painting? I don't know, Ma. Uh, David, darling, <laughs> maybe we have somebody in our family that's also a painter? We don't remember she is middle boy a painter, Ma. Yeah. Come, whoever, the flash is open. Ooh. Oh, oh, good evening. Oh, 
Hello, Mrs. Barnett. Hello, Mrs. Barnett. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Barnett. Hello. Don't get up. Hello. Sit down. Sit down, Carol. Well, Molly, I... <laughs> sit down, darling, Carol. I want you to taste my liver. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, Molly, I can't resist your liver. <laughs> Thank you very much for the picture, Mrs. Barnett. It's wonderful. Oh, really? Uh, how did you like it, Molly? Well, dear, I suppose you have to understand these things. What my mother means is that she Listen, what do I know about abstractions? Well, abstract art well, is something... it wasn't until the beginning of the 20th century that anybody understood or appreciated abstract art. Uh, is that so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why so many artists starved in garrets. I saw it in a movie one. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy. Have you been to the Modern Museum lately? No, I haven't. Well, why don't you and Dora go? Well, we will. Oh, there's a flood of literature on the Impressionists. You know, you ought to get a book by, uh, let me see now, Arnold Rudiger and Hans Balanson. They've compiled documents relating to modern Expressionism. Oh, Sammy, I could go on and on. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. We once had a calendar in our kitchen by a very big artist, Molly. We've got a very early art class tomorrow morning. We're yes. going on a field trip. Oh. If it won't be too much trouble, would you get me a four-pound pot roast and put it in your refrigerator? Oh. First cut. Oh, first cut? Mm -hmm. Well, if you'll excuse me, darling, if you want a real pot roast, should be tender and juicy, only second cut. Oh, well, I always take first cut, oh. but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And a chicken. Chicken? Surely, but what, what kind of chicken? What? I mean, there are chickens and chickens. I mean, there's, for instance, uh, there's, there's, there's fowl chicken and there's pullets and there's fryers and, 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 and there's, there's uh, capon chickens and there's chickens with short legs and big breast chickens. And of course, a chicken, of course, if you'll excuse me, it depends mainly on how you prepare a chicken. Uh, how, how do you fix a chicken, for instance? Well, I just brought it in my broil quick. Oh, just in the broil quick. Well, of course, it depends entirely how, how, how you fix the chicken. If you want a chicken to taste like chicken, say, darling, say yourself, my chicken fricassee, huh? you take a chicken, darling, and you cut it in little parts, and then you take maybe four or five onions, and you also cut it small, and you put it in a little pot, and you let it get golden brown, and you let it simmer. Well, I'm it sure it must be delicious, uh, uh, Tell me, tell me, Mrs. Bonner, well, when you serve pot roast, uh, what, what do you serve with it? Mm, string beans. Oh, just string beans? You, you don't serve potato pancakes and a little cabbage uh, uh, sweet and sour? All that work just for food? Oh, it's a waste no. of good, valuable time. I'd rather be painting, believe well, me. My family, when I served them pot roast, and if I don't give them potato pancakes and red cabbage sweet and sour... Oh, Molly, you spoil them. Uh, what are you going to do when you haven't got a big family to cook for? Uh, no, my way. <laughs> Well, excuse me. I'm sorry I interrupted your dinner. Good night. Uh, good night. Good night, Mrs. Barnett. Good night. Good night. Molly, it, it won't be too much trouble, will it? No, why should it be too much trouble? First cut, second cut, sister. Oh, whatever you think. Uh -huh. You know more about it uh -huh. than I do. All right. All right. Second cut. How? Intelligent woman, I must say. You don't like my potato pancakes? I can live without them. Oh. And, uh, and, and mine chicken fricassee? And, and mine chicken paprika? Shh. Ma, where'd you put the A1 sauce? What's the matter, Ma? Nothing. What's the matter, Molly? Nothing, there's nothing. Taste? So, pepper? Perfect. What's the matter, Molly? Nothing, David. Nothing. I read someplace, David, that cooking is also an art. I should say so. If your noodle soup could be put into a frame, Molly, you would be hanging now in a museum. I'm getting very discouraged. 
Don't give it up, Mrs. Goldberg. You're only studying two weeks. It takes time. I know, but why can't I do it? Why? Look, I can't even paint a, a straight line now. For straight lines, you can use a ruler. Look at my canvas. This is that? Absolutely. For me, this is that. Don't hold your brush like it was a broom. You are not sweeping the kitchen. <laughs> Release yourself. All right, I'm, I'm trying. I need a little cadmium yellow and aqua brown. All right, here, help yourself. <laughs> Thanks. You're making progress? Yeah, but it's not noticeable yet. Oh, Mr. Toback, I'm afraid this is not for me, though. I'm afraid a painter I'll never be. Maybe you should paint familiar things, things you feel. A writer writes about the things he knows, and a painter should paint the things he feels. Maybe you have a mental block Maybe. Try again. With my brush. Oh, thank you. Uh, one minute. I'll open. Who's getting the door? I am. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Hello, Mrs. Burnett. We thought it's Mrs. Goldberg coming home from our painting class. Oh, I thought she'd be home by now. Uh, come in, Mrs. Barnett. Yes, come in. Oh, Mrs. Barnett, how are Hello, you? Oh, Sammy, oh, Sammy, I'm so anxious to know how your mother's getting on with her artwork. <laughs> Leave it to my Molly. Whatever she does, she does well. Well, I'm sure if she applies herself and doesn't get... Hello. Hi, Molly. Hello. 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 How are you, Wonderful. Molly? Wonderful. How is the artwork coming? Uh, I'm not talking yet. May I see what you're doing? No, not yet, if you don't mind, oh, please. Oh, don't be embarrassed, Molly. I don't expect you to be a professional painter yet, Ma. Is it fun, Ma? Uh-huh. Molly, look, why don't we go upstairs to my apartment and play Scrabble? That'll relax you. No, thank you very much, Sam. I'm just in the middle of Michelangelo now. You go, Jake, dear. It'll relax you. I still have a little extra curriculum to do. Go, dear. Are you coming, Sammy? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Let me see, Ma. Uh, please, Sam. Let me take a little look, please, Molly, please. Little, I'll just please, please, Molly. Ma, please. Ma, just let me see the corner. Please. Nobody will see me, please, until my unveiling. I hope you'll let us know when we can see our masterpiece, Molly. I okay. will. Rosalie, please. Francis on the ground floor wants to see you. Me, you can show Molly. Nothing to see, David. Here. Nothing. You didn't paint anything? No. A painter has to, has to paint like a writer writes what he feels and what he knows. And what do I know and what do I feel? Well, who knows life like you know life? No, can you, can you put life on a canvas? I'm not going to go anymore, David. In some things I'm smart, David, but in some things... You say you wouldn't be a painter. Cup of tea? No. You didn't have any supper? No. You're not hungry? I am. So what should I fix you? If I wasn't tired, I'd whip up some balinces. Say yourself, David. Who makes balinces like I make balinces? My, my, my golden brown balinces. My, my balinces are cadmium yellow and, and the crust is okra brown. Mm. Mm. Who can reproduce such colors? Uh, come, whoever. Come, whoever. Hello, hello. hello. Mrs. Oh. Goldberg, hello. I don't want you to get discouraged. Don't get discouraged when it comes to art. I want you to see a picture. Just see this picture. Let me see. Look. Look at my painting. You, you, you did this? I did. I painted a Rembrandt. In two weeks? No. You see, David, a person has to have talent. So <laughs> you can do it too, Mrs. Oh, it's all right, darling. You can do it. I can do it, and don't say that I can do it. Please. Mrs. Goldberg, you're going to paint. 
Huh? You're going to paint a Van Gogh. The potato eaters. The potato eaters? Mm hmm Potatoes? That may be yes, Molly. How can I? I'll help you. Hmm? How can you help me? Look, the picture has numbers. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. See the numbers? Hmm? All you have to do is fill in the colors. Oh, you, you, you fill in the colors with the numbers? Uh-huh. And when you fill in every color with every number, you have the picture. That's <laughs> easy, Molly. Dear. That's all. That's all. Uncle oh, David. Look, you can help too. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Mrs. Goldberg, darling. Now you take from one. Yes, let me see. Uh, from one to let's say fourteen. Yeah. And I'll take from fourteen to twenty-eight. 28. And Uncle David, you yeah. take from twenty-eight. Yeah. Uh, to forty-two. Well, yeah. I'm one to fourteen. Yeah. You're twenty-eight to forty-two. Twenty-eight to forty-two. One eight mm -hmm. for forty-two. <laughs> 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 I'm one, I'm one. Mildy, I'm making something. Oh, we made it. We made two. Yo ho, Mrs. Barnett. Mrs. Barnett. Uh, yes, Mr. Goldberg. If you have a chance, would you mind dropping in? I'll be down in a little while. I found the picture Mrs. Goldberg was painting. Oh? She hid it. I just found it accidentally. Try to come down before she comes home from school. I'll be right down. <laughs> Such modesty, it's refreshing. She's a Grandma Moses, no question about it. I always knew it. I'll be right down. <laughs> Fine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ramona, ya ba 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 I Ramona, ya ba 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 ba. And la da 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 da, la da 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 la da da da. La, come in. La da da la da da. Oh, Mrs. Hyman, come in. I want you to see something. Is Mrs. Goldberg home yet? No, not yet. Uh, she didn't show you this picture. Of course she did. I assisted her with this. You see, she did this part from 1 to 14, and I did from 14 to 28, and Uncle David did from 28 to 42. What do you mean? Well, you see, the, the picture has numbers, and, and you fill in the colors, that's all you do. Oh, it's wonderful. My daughter's house is full with my paintings. Four Renoirs and, and two Picassos and one Matisse. If Mrs. Goldberg comes, then tell her I'll, to please call me. I will. I'm working on a Monet now. No. Can you imagine? What? This is... One second. W one, one minute, please. Uh, j j just a minute, Mrs. Barnett. I, uh, did it coming. Coming. Just one second, please. Yes? I, oh, Molly. I, I couldn't open the door, Jay. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Jay, darling, we had the most wonderful lecture, darling. Oh, no painting, only lecturing? Oh, of course, painting. We were talking about the palette knife techniques. Uh, may I see this no. masterpiece, Molly? No, darling, I still have to put a few finishing touches on it, darling. And I'm going to work in the kitchen. The light is better there, Jay. Dear. But it's all right. Maybe I can help you. No, darling. Oh, when it comes to art, darling, nobody can help you. It's very lonesome work, Jake, darling. It's only you and your paint and your canvas, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what are you working on now? You'll see, darling. You'll see. You don't mind, darling. I still have a little more work. To do, <laughs> Not darling. at all. Why should I mind? <laughs> I wouldn't be long, uh, May I look, please? No, darling. When it's finished, then you'll see it. Molly, this I didn't expect. I Not from you. Jake, darling, I want it to be a surprise. Don't take that pleasure away from me. I want to surprise you. Yeah, you surprised me already, Molly. Beyond my expectations. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Don't come in and don't take a boo. <laughs> Mrs. Barnett. Oh, uh, David? Yeah. I had my picture framed for my Sally, the doctor. I painted him a Rembrandt. 
He's going to hang it in his consultation room. And for his examining room, I'm painting him a Whistler's mother in Carlos. In a few weeks, I'll hang in every room in my Sally's house. Did Molly tell you? She doesn't have to tell me. Well, you know already? L look, look at my Carlos, Jake. L look at my Carlos. You know, my Van Gogh is better already than my Rembrandt. You see, Jake? David, 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 take it away. But why should I take it away? Because this kind of painting that you and Molly are... I'll talk to you about it later, yeah. yes? Good evening. Oh, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Van Eyck, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but the picture is... Hello, Mrs. Van Eyck. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's... Just practice. It's a Rembrandt. But, but that's right. I'm going to wake in Whistler's mother tomorrow morning. Now finish her up before supper. <laughs> It's just child's play. He's only amusing himself. All he does is fill in the color. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Molly's picture? Uh, well, oh, it's... Man. Excuse me. Uh, Molly, oh, Molly, don't Mrs. disturb Barnett, yourself, please. Barnett, darling, I, I don't know how to thank you for your inspiration. Molly, I'm dying to see your picture. But maybe Mrs. Goldberg is a little tired not right now, aren't you? Not at all, darling. Not at all. We had the most wonderful lecture, darling. We were talking about the influence of the Cubist on the modern composition. Did, did you know, Carrie Francis, did you know that every picture, that every painting is only a series of squares and circles and triangles? Take, for instance, Goya. Take, for instance, Goya. All triangles. Oh, look, I just finished the finishing touches, darling. Oh, Go, yeah, I want you to see it Molly, here. dear, so tell them. So come in. Molly, Molly, please spare me. It's copying what you're doing. My teacher don't think so. It's copying, yes, but I passed the rated opinion of the whole committee. Go. <laughs> no? You, you like it? Mr. Goldberg. Ah, <laughs> uh, so already a sample of Mrs. Goldberg's work. It's really... Thank you very much. You, you like my tensions between the reds and the greys? Huh? I, I'm going to send you an invitation. Uh, what invitation? Well, Molly was selected to hang in the kindergarten. <laughs> uh-huh. P.S. 29 on an exhibition. You're going to be on exhibition? I am. Rembrandt? No. Monet? No. Van Gogh? Also not. What then? Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to fill in colors? Is that self-expression? <laughs> Carrie, darling, please. As one artist to another, darling, tell me, did I get the greens exactly right? Huh? But after all, Jay, darling, I'm not reproducing the pickle, only the feeling. Pickles? You should paint pickles. Of course, maybe you'd rather eat pickles. Why not? Oy. Life is also an art. Knowing how to enjoy yourself, knowing how to get the most out of life, that's a great art, believe me. But how can you enjoy life if you're feeling too tired, not sleeping so well, not eating like you should, feeling nervous? This can happen more often than you think because you're not getting the important elements in life you talk. Look at this pattern. In this package is a bottle of ributol with 25 jelly caps. Every jelly cap contains 22 important vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals that you need in order to feel good, in order to enjoy life, to eat well, to sleep well, to feel full of energy. So, so why shouldn't you enjoy life to the full? For only a dollar ninety-eight, a few cents a day, take my advice. Would I recommend Ribitol if I wasn't sure it was the best advice? Get a bottle of Ribitol from your drugstore. Try it, because you may never know how good you can feel until you tried Ribitol. And believe me, you'll thank me.
Hello there. Friends, here's an amazing free offer for everyone who's overweight. Even though you've tried other methods and failed, you can still lose ugly fat fast. Now, thousands can tell you that the calometric reducing formula is the only safe, sure, effective way to reduce. This package includes the Wonder 10-Day Diet that lets you eat three delicious meals a day, plus a bedtime snack, and uh, even includes a jog for your willpower. And yet you take only three calometric tablets per day. And now here's that sensational free offer I was going to tell you about. A 30-day supply of wonderful calometric tablets, a certified $3.50 value, when you buy the regular calometric way to weight control. You save $3.50. That's a $7 value for only $3.50, a 50% saving. And how can you get your free bottle of calometric tablets? Just send in this calometric box top with your name and address, and your druggist will give you a postage paid envelope already addressed to the calometric company. So don't lose hope, lose weight. Get calometric reducing formula at your drugstore. Send the box top in the free post page envelope and get your $3.50 bottle of calometric tablets absolutely free. Friends, believe me when I say don't wait. Act right now. This is the Dumont Television Network.